drive the pits he's made, day ticket water. We're setting up to do a 24 hour session. Keep watching the video to see what happens during the night. Uh, this is the swim I'll be fishing for the next 24 hours. Uh, I've seen a few carp roll already and uh, one or two jump. Oh, one's going off. Uh, I'm putting one rod directly next to those lilies there with the two ducks I've been at the moment. And one just off of that overhanging tree over there. Right, this is my swim. As you can see, it's just a nice little ending to the lake here. I'm going to be putting my rod out to the lilies over there where Rob has is, but on the other side. So, uh, Keep watching to see how my swim and rod swim go. Okay, I'm just going to give you a bit of quick explanation on my rig I'm using today. I'll start off at the uh, business end. This is two bits of buoyant corn, ESP buoyant corn, uh, with a 15 mil mainline cell boilie. Uh, that is, the, it's not going to be a pop up. It's just critically balanced, uh, so it sits like that on the bottom. It's also the corn is for a bit of um, enticement, just the colours, and it draws them to it. Uh, I'm using shrink tube in here because it's a barbless rule, so uh, it just makes it easy, harder for the hook for the fish to eject the hook. Uh, down there, I am using a bit of a uh, mouse droppings. No, it's a bit of tungsten tungsten uh, putty. Uh, my main line, my main uh, hook link consists of a combi rig. Uh, this is supple braid, which is here through, even the hair. Uh, stopping underneath this is an Albright knot tied to 10, no, 15 pound Fox Illusion fluorocarbon uh, with a little overhand loop here so I can secure it to my quick link. Also going to be talking about my rig. So we'll start from here. We have a bit of sinking corn, just a bit of fake corn. So uh, basically just for colour to attract the carp in. Then attached to that is a nice bit of trustworthy cell. I then have a quarter size 10 wide gate hook, just uh, you know what that's for. And then I have some uh, 15 pound quarter end trap coated braid, which is stripped about three quarters of the way down, about a quarter of the way down, sorry, so that when the uh, carp sucks it up, it's all supple, so when it goes to spit it out, it will just drag itself down and hook itself. Uh, we have that tied onto a helicopter swivel size 8 by a uh, half blood knot. If we just pull this out, which is a bit difficult, we won't do that. It's attached to some 15 pound fluorocarbon main line and uh, two ounce lead. So that's my rig and uh, hopefully it'll catch it. On so we can have our dinner here at Pixie's Mere Fishery. <laughs> it's in there. Do you, want me to, do you want me to have a look? Oh, oh you filming? Mm -hmm. Well, it's the first fish of the session. Not a big one, but all counts. This is my first fish in this venue. In the bivvy, just drifting off to sleep. We have this one. Lovely fish. Lovely How big fish. is the trolley? Huh? About four? About four. It was a tag line. Look at the foil, it was massive. Oh, no, no, I was getting back. Oh, look at that, drift back. Nice and drift. Yeah. Well done, well in. Get back to Rob's on two at ten past three, the second carp of the session. Oh, and it is cold. Oh, hurry up. It's giving him a nice little We'll, call you. Yes, we'll show you when he's in. Uh, we're here at Pixie's Mid Fishery, uh, it's about ten past three. Just woke up to my right hand rod screaming off, which was just past a tree in the margins. A lovely four pound common, which is pretty much identical to Charlie's, but this is from the other side of the lake. So yep. Getting back. Thank you for waking me up. So we've been disturbed at six in the morning by. Another screamer which has pulled Charlie's bank stick out of the bank stick. <laughs> Onto the mirror. Mirror though. That's now called Little Fish Cove. Get the net rope. 
I'm not going back to sleep now. Oh, I am. Yeah. I woke up by another run. Um, we've got a nice little mirror. Still not the big fish you're after, but you're welcome. So get this one back and try and get a bigger one. Still here at Pixie's Mere Fishery. Um, the best swim on the lake has just become free. Uh, and it's been dead all day. We've had nothing since last night, so we uh, thought we'd try our luck and give it a move. Do you video when you get a fish on? You know where you are fishing? There's a man across the lake who is also onto a carp, so we're fishing the lilies, this is a good sign. <laughs> 